what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example on shortcut technique for reduction of order and in order to apply shortcut technique we have to have the differential equation in this pattern y double prime is equal to p of x y prime plus q of x y is equal to zero in our case we have x square y double prime plus 3x y prime plus y is equal to zero but if you notice this this is the coefficient of the y double prime should be one so that's the main thing now in order to bring this one into that pattern we have to divide everything by x square okay so if, if we divide everything by x square this is going to become y double prime plus 3 over x y prime plus y over x square is equal to 0 now after we bring it to this pattern we have to find a p of x value because we are going to apply this equation this is our shortcut technique equation and in order to apply this equation we have to have a p of x value p of x values the value that multiply y prime in our case that is 3 over x so p of x is equal to 3 over x now we can go ahead and plug it in this equation so here y of 2x is equal to y 1x integral e power negative integral p of x dx over y 1 square dx now I write this one as y of x because this is the general solution and since they are asking for the second solution I'm going to write it that one as y to x now y of x is equal to y 1 x y 1 x in our case that's x power negative 1 so let's write this one right here and integral e power negative integration of p of x and p of x is 3 over x <coughs> dx over y1 square in our case that's, that's going to become x power negative 2 dx now let's simplify and see what we get x power minus 1 and integral of this one and this is going to be e power negative ln of 3 ln x negative 3 ln of x plus constant let's say constant is c over x power minus 2 dx and now to get rid of this e and ln we can bring this negative 3 to the power so that's going to become x power minus 1 integral e power ln of x power minus 3 and when the power add it it means it's multiplying so we can write this one as e constant multiply by e constant over x power negative 2 dx now let's continue this one right here and here we are going to have x power minus 1 and e and ln cancels each other so we are going to be left with x power minus 3 time e constant let's write this one as let's say c2 is equal to e power constant so x power negative 3 c2 divided by x square x power minus 2 actually this integration should be for everything i shouldn't put this line like this okay let's explain uh, let's expand this one like this okay now here we have this one x power minus 3 c2 and uh, after that we have multiplied this one with the constant and then dx and in the denominator we have x power minus 2 and x power minus 3 is 1 over like this is 1 over x square so this x square goes to the top now let's rearrange this one x power minus 1 integral this one i can write it as 1 over x cube so i put the x cube in the denominator and this is 1 over x square so this x square flips around and go to the top x square and then c2 is remaining here and then dx and from this one we can see that this is going to become x power minus 1 1 over x c2 c2 and then dx okay and after we integrate this one this is going to become 1 over x this is x power minus 1 1 over x and then integration of okay integration of 1 over x is going to be c2 ln of x and we have to put another constant let's say that is c1 okay now we have this one now we have to multiply everything by 1 over x so the final the general solution for this differential equation is going to become c2 ln of x divided by x plus c1 divided by x 
Now this is our y1x. So when c2 is equal to 0 and c1 is equal to 1, we get y1x. So let's uh, first uh, let's box this one box this one down because this is our general solution. And the second solution, if you notice, when we put 0 for c2 and if we put 1 for c1, that's going to be our given solution. But to find the second solution, what we have to do is we have to make c1 is equal to 0 and c2 is equal to 1. And if you do that, you will get this one ln of x divided by x and that's going to be the second solution for this differential equation and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.